everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today's video, video is going to be filled with a lot of little videos. So let's just go watch and see what I've got. And, um, I mean, I didn't have any credit card and I had to actually pay the bank to get a credit card. And, the, and then, they, they were giving, then they gave me the credit card. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to get a credit card. No, no, I have one, but I had to pay for it myself because I didn't have credit. And if you said I had 700, my credit now is 700, that's pretty darn good. But do you have your card on you, ma'am? Let me pull up the bills for your account, folks. I, I don't have the card on me right now because it stays with my husband, and I don't know where he is at the moment because he's taken off, and I don't know where he is. So maybe you could help me. I don't even know that because he kept all everything secret. I have no idea. I think he hung up on me. Did you hang up on me? He sure did. Yeah. He's probably. Gone. He didn't like my sad story. <laughs> oh well. Another trip outside. It's beautiful today. I actually put short sleeves on, and as long as I stay in the sun, it's pretty nice. Now, Jim's outside tilling again. I think you can hear maybe the engine. We'll go up close, but we're not gonna stay because it's awfully noisy when he's doing it. He's, he wanted to work the ground a little more before it got too hard because it was a little bit damp yesterday, and we haven't had a garden there in a long time. There's a hawk in the sky drifting that direction away from everything. Well, we'll turn you around so you can see what he's doing. He told me there's going to be a lot of weeds, which, what else is new? There's always been a lot of weeds. of the compost pile. Look at that. It's like a little little bear cave. We'll walk up this direction. We'll go up the hill because this way I don't have to walk past him again where it's noisy. The ground is pretty nice up here. It's not foggy. Usually it's real foggy at this time of year. Although I could hit a soggy spot. This hill used to be a lot steeper. Jim had graded it so that it wasn't as steep. And the kids, when we first moved here, we had kids knocking on our door, wanting to know if they could slide down our hill in the winter because it was really steep. And we said that they could as long as they didn't go into the road. And um, they had a good time. My kids had a good time too, doing it up behind the barn the trailer barn and now we're going to go up behind the, the big barn. Got the door open. He put the fence all the way up here to his barn door. I'll turn you around so you can see. There's the fence all the way to his barn door ramp because Mr. Brown was traveling up here. We'll see where Mr. Brown is. When the rooster crowed, Mr. Brown came running, so he recognizes the, the crow of the rooster when it's time for snack, which is good. Let's see where if I can find him, or if he finds me first. I don't know. Well, maybe he's over here. Mr. Brown, where are you? Ah, oh, there he is. Mr. Brown? You gonna come? Come on. You can come. Here she comes. Hello, sweet pea. How are you? Huh? How are you today? Are you having a good day? Good girl. Oh, you're all dusty. You must have been dust baby. You got a little bit of little bit of dirt on your feathers. Yeah. Well, I will walk. You can follow if you like. I'm sure she will. I'm planning on having her 
up in this rooster house this summer if she doesn't mix well with the other birds. I'll have to put a fence around it and my daughter will have to come up here to lock her in at night so that she stays safe. Otherwise, she might not stay so safe because um, there's there are critters around here. This is the rooster house. Let me open the door. I don't know if I can open the door. We'll see how well I can do it. Oh, I guess I can open it. Oh, and there's still, I've got still the nesting boxes from before. Maybe she'll come in, I don't know. Did she follow me up here? Nope, she didn't follow me. Wow, that's really something. Maybe she's busy dust bathing. She didn't come up here. We're in the rooster house. It's got a roosting bar and the windows are open. And I've got more of the, the fencing if I need it, which I will. I guess we'll go back out. I'm gonna shut the door. Squishy. I can hear the squish up here. Let's see if we can find Mr. Brown. She went back between. Maybe she went back between the building and the and the chicken house thing. We'll find out. She was up the hill the one day. Quite a ways up the hill. Oh, there you are. What are you doing? She's over here. She says, "Well." Help. Watch, I'll open the door, and, or I'll walk to the door, and she'll probably come running. Here she comes, see? I open the door, and she'll pop in. There she goes. She likes to come in. Mr. Brown, you're right where Mr. Jim doesn't want you. You're taking my worms? I hope not. I can't reach you that far. Up, and a girl. Okay, let's go in. It's time. You are having fun, I know. I'm sorry. Are you ready to go to bed? jumps a whole lot faster than that. She says, it's still daylight. What are you doing? Did you want out? Maybe she wants out. Let me see. Do you want out? Did you want to go eat for a while? Come on. Mm. Up. Come on. <laughs> she doesn't know what she wants. Maybe she's happy in there. Are you happy in there? Or do you want out? I'll try it one more time. No, nope. usually, nope. usually I think I, she's happy in there. I put her down by her dish. She says, well. I really don't have anything else to show you, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.